Welcome back you guys to Poppins Approved and Bagtoberfest. Today I am going to share with you my favorite convertible diaper bags. So these are the bags that you can wear not only messenger style, possibly tote style, um, but also backpack style, which is my favorite. So let's just jump right in and I will share with you some of my favorite convertible bags. <music> Okay, I'm gonna start out with Lily Jade and pretty much all of their bags are convertible where you can wear them tote style, messenger style, or backpack style. And I really, really love that about Lily Jade. All their bags um, are so versatile and you can definitely wear these even after your babies are out of diapers. The leather is something that will help maintain the life of the bag, but it also is some maintenance. So that's something to think about when you're purchasing. This one is one of their larger styles. It is the Lily J. Megan. And I love this one just as like a nice big throw and go tote. They also have other styles that are a little bit smaller. Right here I have the Madeline's, a little bit smaller in size, but it's really cute, like a little purse. And you can also definitely wear that one as a backpack. On the interior of all their bags, it pretty much is set up the same where they have two little slip pockets and then on the other side there is a zippered pocket and then the bags also come with an insert that's like the diaper bag section if you will um, otherwise people just usually organize with some pouches different things like that and then just a nice big open tote for when you're out of diapers the only downside to particularly this Megan bag is it's a little on the heavy side but when it's on my shoulder and when it's worn on my back especially this bag feels so comfortable and I've never really had an issue with it in that sense pretty much all of the Lily Jade bags if you're looking for a good convertible diaper bag um, these would be a good option for you one of the next bags that I want to talk to you about is the Hat Brand Levy diaper bag. And this one has kind of taken me by surprise. Um, I use it way more than I thought I would. It's just a really light, lightweight bag, but it still has this really pretty like texture here with the like braided nylon. These bottle pockets will even fit my really large water bottle. So this is this bag I actually use a lot because of that reason I can carry around all my big large water bottles. And inside here you have a lot of really great organization. And not only can it be worn backpack style with comfortable like padded strap, you also have the strap where you can carry it messenger style as well. This one I've been loving for sure. It's just a really fun, unique design. It's really lightweight, holds everything I need it to, and it looks really cute. So this is a good option as well. Next up we have the Fawn Design. Everybody really loves Fawn Design and for good reason. It's a very nice size bag. It has the unique U-shaped opening here where you can really look down into your bag and see everything that's in there. They use the same material that's on the outside, on the inside, so the whole thing is really nice and like cleanable and wipeable. I've used this even without kids, like on trips and things, and it's come in very handy having all of this space. And when it's on, it just looks like a really nice kind of larger purse. But I do love that it has the strap here so you can have a messenger style bag or it has the attached backpack straps, which are actually very comfortable. They're very easy to adjust on this like nylon webbing here. It seems like the items fit better and slide in and out better on the matte material rather than the pebbled material. So definitely um, that's something to think about as well. I don't love their pebbled material bags, but I love this matte material. This light blue color goes with so many things in my wardrobe more than I thought it would, and I actually use this quite a lot. I would say this is kind of on the medium weight side. It's not like super heavy, but it's not like your lightest bag either, not like the hat brand Levy. So this is another good option, Fawn Design original in the dusty blue color. Since we're discussing Fawn Design, I also wanted to bring up Miss Fong because this is a really great kind of copycat, if you want to say that. Um, there are a few different features on it. You have different kind of zippers here on the sides and there is like a little hidden pocket in the back. The straps here on the back are made of a different material, but this bag is pretty much the same kind of idea where it has this nice U-shape opening. The zippers are very, very smooth. And then you have this nice like wipeable nylon interior with lots of organization. And I feel like this bag is a little bit lighter weight and I think it's because it has the nylon interior. So if you really like the look of the Fawn design but you want it to be maybe a little lighter and less expensive, 
this is a really good option for a convertible diaper bag that you're not worried about throwing around because it's not too expensive. This one has been thrown around a lot and it still looks like it's in great shape. So I would say that Miss Fong is a really good quality bag, especially for the price that you're paying. So this is for sure a good option for a convertible diaper bag. This next bag here is the freshly picked original diaper bag. And I think this is the birch color. So it's just a nice, really pretty, kind of light beigey kind of color. And on the inside of this one, it's really fun. They decided to do this really pretty like pink. So this is a really cute bag. You have tons of organization inside. The only thing that bugs me is probably just how this opens. If you have the snaps done to make it look nice, then it's kind of impossible to get into your bag. It only opens that much. Whoops, see, and the snap comes undone. So the snaps are pretty much, I don't wanna say worthless, but kind of, they're kind of not usable unless you're not gonna get into your bag a lot and you just wanna keep it looking nice. Otherwise, the pockets tend to stick out kind of like that. And then when you close it, it looks kind of like that. You can see where those little things need to be kind of tucked in there on the side. So that's something that's like bugs me a little bit about this bag, but it does have a lot of nice space. It does have the strap here so you can wear it messenger style. And then I love that you can tuck in the backpack straps here and hide the little D-rings. So they just kind of tuck in at the bottom. And I think that's something that's really cool about this bag that you can hide those and really hide the backpack straps and then just wear it messenger style if you want to or take those out and wear it backpack style. This one is also a really cute bag that I've seen people use as just a purse for themselves after their kids are done with diapers. So I do like this one. Um, one that I think I like might like a little more than this one is the Mina Bay Kinney, which I do not have with me at the moment, but I have done a review on that one. So please go check it out. I will chink it I will chink it. I will link it down below so that you can see the review of that bag. If I had that bag right now, it would definitely be in this lineup and possibly before the freshly picked. I think I might like that one a little bit more. This one feels like it's a lighter weight bag, but that one seems to have a little more of the features that I like. So definitely check that review out as well. Okay, the last bag that I wanna share with you for my favorite convertible bags is this Azaria. And this is the petite version. And I really like that the petite version isn't too small. It has some good space to it. So I can still fit everything that I would need for a short trip out. Um, I've taken this to church, I've taken it to the park, and I have enough space. I wouldn't say this is your bag that you take all day long or to like a theme park or anything, but I love that you have all this organization inside. It's wipeable, it's cleanable. It has this really nice opening here so you can see everything really easily. And it's obviously convertible, so you have the backpack straps and you have the messenger straps, you can attach it to the D-rings that are on the side of the bag. I ended up choosing this petite size because I have so many larger bags that I wanted to be able to use this as a purse for myself even after my kids are out of diapers and I feel like it's going to work perfectly for that. Perfect little size, not too big, not too small. And the faux leather feels like it's going to hold up pretty well. So out of the bags that I have personally tried myself so far, these are the ones that kind of make my top list for convertible diaper bags. If you have any questions about any of them, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite convertible diaper bag is. Stay tuned because we have more videos coming for Bagtoberfest. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future reviews and we will talk to you soon.